Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great in your life. Today in this video we will discuss uh, conversion of metrological visibility into RVR. We will discuss uh, why we need to convert this uh, visibility into RVR. Then we will discuss how we will convert this uh, given visibility into RVR. Then after I will discuss what are the conditions in which we are not allowed to convert this visibility into RVR. And in the end I will show you the official documents where you can find this information right. But before starting disclaimer, I do not own any of the image and content used in this course. All of it is just a reproduction of Airbus manuals and just to serve the purpose of easy understanding of the systems and procedures right. So it is a technique to convert metrological visibility into RVR by a conversion factor mentioned by state authority given in the all weather operation civil aviation requirement right. Now I will tell you what is the conversion factor and why do we need to convert this uh, into RVR. For an example you are making an approach you are planning to make an approach uh, at uh, um, Chennai airport. It's an airport in India and uh, you are uh, planning for ILS approach runway 25. You will go and check what is the RVR. Uh, RVR record is 1000 meter. Now uh, as you are making approach you uh, see that uh, TAR has uh, reported visibility as 900 meters and RVR is not given. RVR is not given. Right now in this case uh, what will you do? As a pilot, uh, you are allowed to convert that visibility, given visibility, into RVR mm, by a conversion factor. Now, the conversion factor is given in uh, um, state authorities official documents. I have taken this information from um, DGCA car. For an example, you are having high intensity approach lighting system and it's a daytime. You are making that approach in day. Then you can convert you can multiply this uh, given visibility by 1.5 and the value whatever the value will come you will convert you will consider that value as a rvr so it will be around 1350 so uh, 1350 will be considered as your rvr and you will check it here oh it's good to go rvr required is 1000 meter only so you can initiate your uh, approach till DA or MDA. After DA or MDA you will definitely need uh, visual references with your RVR but you can continue your approach on the basis of uh, this with given visibility only right. For an example it was night when you were making this approach and you were having a high intensity approach lighting system. Then you can multiply that uh, 900 meter by directly by 2 and 1800 meter will be your uh, RVR converted RVR. So why this uh, uh, conversion factor is higher at night because definitely during night lights play a significant role to easily identify the runway that's why the con conversion factor for night is uh, higher as compared to day right. If you have any normal uh, approach lighting available for your runway then uh, your given visibility will be considered as RVR you cannot uh, multiply it by any, any number right. But during night, if you have any approach lighting system available, then you can multiply again that with 1.5. Then you can convert by multiplying 1.5 during night if any other approach lighting system available rather than high intensity, right? If no lighting, no runway lighting available, then during day you can uh, make that approach considering the same visibility as RVR but not applicable for night definitely during night you do not have any um, any uh, you do not have any lighting available as well as you do not have any rvr specified by the um, med department so you cannot convert your visibility into rvr right now you have uh, understood two things why do we need to convert our uh, metallurgical visibility into RVR and how we will convert this uh, given visibility into RVR. Right now I will discuss what are the conditions when you are not allowed to convert your uh, given visibility into RVR. There will be some rest restriction definitely by the state of authority. I have taken this uh, document from this screenshot from uh, all weather operations of uh, DGCA civil aviation requirements. Uh, here six reasons are given. Number one, 
you cannot convert that given visibility uh, visibility was let's say 900 meter you, you cannot use this uh, information you, uh, for takeoffs it will be for landings only for the approaches only right number one number two you cannot convert this uh, visibility into rvr in case the rvr for that approach is less than 800 meter here the rvr was 1000 meter to initiate that approach but in this case for ils runway 07 it is 550 meter now when rvr is so restricting and it is specified in the approach plate then you cannot convert this uh, visibility into rvr right but if it is more than 800 meter then definitely you can go ahead and convert by the conversion factor and do your stuff and continue approach right two things number three this is not applicable this is not applicable for visual circuits for uh, sorry visual approaches or circling approaches right then you need rvr or you need visual reference definitely for visual approaches you need visual reference to your uh, visual uh, you know you should be inside with your runway number four don't play smart over here when rvr is given by the med department and uh, you say okay it's very um, it's not in our minimas let's ignore it and we will convert our uh, given metrological visibility into rvr for an example your rvr is given uh, 800 meters and your visibility is given 900 meters right then uh, uh, you will say okay i am initiating approach for uh, this uh, ils runway 25 rvr required is 1000 meters uh, but given rvr is uh, oh it's 800 meter rvr given is 800 meter no worries but visibility is given 900 meter it's a daytime we can multiply it by 1.5 because high intensity approach lighting is available oh it's it is coming out to be 1350 definitely i i can initiate approach but no bro you cannot when rvr is given you cannot convert your visibility don't play smart over here right um <laughs> number five when reported visibility is less than 800 meter uh, visibility only is given by let's say uh, giving an example only uh, visibility is given 700 meter visibility is given 700 meters rvr is not reported rvr is not reported now you are planning to uh, make an approach and uh, you figured out that uh, rvr required is 1000 meter no worries you can continue uh, because it is not less than 800 meter rvr required is not less than 800 meter definitely you can initiate you can convert but another factor which comes is another restricting factor which comes is your visibility should be reported visibility should be more than 800 meter should be more than 800 meters right in this case you also cannot uh, continue uh, converting your uh, visibility into rvr and uh, these were the all six uh, uh, you know restricting uh, conditions where you cannot convert your visibility into rvr uh, now i will show you where you can find this information i have downloaded a, a civil aviation requirement of dgca uh, you can check your state authorities uh, official documents for this information here you can see all the information uh, related to uh, conversion of meteorological visibility now uh, thank you very much you can check out my playlist for uh, more refined uh, informative videos thank you very much for your precious time means a lot and please comment below if you like the video and you, if you have any suggestions regarding the videos and my youtube channel thank you very much